This is the Metro Mile OBD2 dongle teardown. They sent me new ones, so I'm going to tear apart this old one and enjoy a Rainier or Ranye beer. This is a Metro Mile OBD2 tracking meter for Metro Mile insurance. Here we see the model number C4 dongle dash 3G and AV6. This operates on anything between 8 and 18 volts at 2 amps max. It has an FCC ID number because it's effectively a cell phone. And as we'll see, it is a cell phone. It was made in the People's Republic of China. This is my old unit. It is disused. It even has an IMEI number that's typically assigned to a cell phone. It's known as the International Mobile Electronic Identifier. Well, at any rate, I don't care that you have the number because that's not my current number. Here we see a micro USB charging port. There's actually an indicator light right here. That's actually a fiber optic light guide to the board. And then a bunch of connecting pins. To open this device, we have to remove a small Phillips screw. Here I'm using a purple banded precision screwdriver. We're just going to unscrew the screw here. It's a longer screw with fine threads as you may be able to see. Next, we're gonna carefully pop this open. Put a knife blade in the edge and pop that cover off. Once we're inside, you can see a 3.7 volt, 450 milliamp hour Howell R11 battery, 1.67 watt hours. That's the number you get if you multiply 0.45 by 3.7, the nominal voltage of this pack. Well, that means positive, negative, and sensor wire. That's a piece of logic board. As we continue moving along here, we can open the top of the unit by popping it out. We can see in the head of the unit here, there's actually a transceiver board and it can be extracted here. This is some kind of wireless logic board. We see some serial numbers on here like this. I'm not sure what this is exactly. I believe it's the actual broadcast antenna of some kind. You can see here that um, there's a grounding foam right here that contacts this gold-coated copper patch. And then two gold-plated pins that contact here on the board in order to transmit a signal into what looks like a RF or radio frequency transceiver. Next up, we can remove the front module. We can see here that this module plugs in with these four gold-coated copper tabs to these pins here that you can see elevated on the board. Those push together like that and connect the power controller or power control module to the cell phone inside the unit. Now you can open this further here and I found the easiest way to do this is to hold these tabs like this and pull the unit straight out the end. Here we can see a stacked logic board. We have something called a Blox model SARAU260. This also has an IMEI number. This is effectively a cell phone. We can see some capacitors, inductors, resistors, very high power devices here. In the housing, there's three pins connected to these antennas that are laminated on the inside of the housing. There's uh, another further model number in there, MAT, M-A-T 0061AD, with a MIDI control number and an OBD version 6 3G ANT controller. Um, there's a bunch of text on this board too. I don't know if any of this means anything to you. It's a Type S694VO E99006 1745. I imagine this has to do with the components. We can see EMI shielding. The board is completely rich. I haven't actually located uh, this precise star bit. That's going to be later in the video. That's what's bonding these two modules here. We can even see a SIM card in here like this and doesn't appear to be a click tray type. So we'll examine that in more detail next. Well, a very interesting device. Hey, buy the mile car insurance. You drive less than 7,500 miles a year. You can save about half of that of traditional auto insurance. Meg and I don't drive that much, mostly to and from work. When we go out to exercise, we often take our bicycle or leave by foot. That means we don't drive our car as much, and Metro Mile helps us save thousands of dollars a year. Special thanks to Metro Mile, started by two guys in California. It's an interesting incumbent to huge conglomerates like State Farm saves me tons of money and for that i want to give metromile a special thanks it's an interesting design it's a 
3G cell phone. Now in the app and online through the web portal, you can actually turn off tracking. So they just see how many miles you drove, not the route, but it also does interesting tracking. If you have children, and they don't drive much, for example, might be able to get a huge discount on their car insurance if they're only driving to and from high school or college. Thing to consider, look into Metro Mile. I'll be recycling this LiPo battery, but first I'm going to test it. If it works, I might have an application for it. Doesn't seem swollen. Usually LiPos, when they're damaged, swell up. They puff up from overcharging. This one's been plugged into the OBD port of my car. It's rarely driven for more than 40 minutes at a time. Imagine it's probably in good order a couple years old. We'll see. I have a KDX 7000 series at work. Since I work at Batteries Plus, I can pop it on there and give it an analysis, see what the residual capacity is. As for the rest of this jazz, I still have to find the tool to open this up. My sheer and utter amazement, this Kirkerland screwdriver kit comes with the precise tech bit I need to undo the screw on that corner. These are the other bits that come from inside the handle. My mother-in-law gave this tool to me a few years ago, knowing that I'm a device repair tech. And wow, it actually came in handy today. Thanks, Janet. I'm going to use this tiny screwdriver here to unscrew. These tiny X head screws. It's a star bit of some kind, star two maybe. It's real small. I'm flabbergasted that this little kit contains the correct X bit. Once we have that undone, we go to the other side and unscrew the other two. There we have it. There's a push fit multi pin connector in here. And there's a SIM card. We can slide it out just like that. We see it's one of the old style SIMs. It's got three different sizes the small, medium, and large. These are effectively old cell phone parts, probably purchased at a discount. Interestingly, more we can see that the inside EMI shield is actually hollow and that. We've got all kinds of analog RF circuitry happening in here. On the adjacent board, we've got um, dual stack board with EMI shields on both sides. It's going to be the subject of defeating the soldered uh, enclosure, maybe in another video. Since that will require using a soldering iron, something I'm currently not set up for. Well, for now, that is the inside of the Metro Mile unit. You've seen it all. Thanks again for watching.